Hello everyone, so we have a faster way to run Hanyuan videos right now. Now, this isn't using low sampling steps like LCM which we've seen in other AI animation frameworks. We're seeing the same quality, and sometimes even better quality than the original Hanyuan videos that we generate. And we're seeing all the results here. Currently, they're using the new framework for Hanyuan video. Now we're going to check out something called AK Video. This is another new framework they call the Video Diffusion Model with synthetic datasets. What it does mainly is use this method to run Hanyuan videos 8.5 times faster. That's what they claim and I've tested it and looked at the results. I used 15 steps and was able to generate a 3 second video in only 3 minutes. Then, in another test it was even faster. I generated a 5 second video clip in just 2 minutes and 46 seconds. Now. If you lower the sampling steps to 5, I got an even shorter generation time. For a 5 second video clip, it took me 1 minute and 55 seconds, almost 2 minutes, to generate a video like this. I've also custom generated some videos myself, like this one. They look very realistic, cinematic styles of women talking or static fashion models standing in front of the camera. There are also fantasy style scenes of women standing around in crowds. All of these were generated using the latest framework of ACC video with Hanyuan video as the base model to create those video clips. Now we're going to check it out in Comfy UI to see how to implement that. But first, let's take a look at their Hugging Face page. They've included AC video in their official Hugging Face repository. You can see the files right here. They're based on the Hanyuan video text-to-video model weights with 720p resolution size, which they use as the base. They also have the ACC video T2V5 step version, which is what they use for their ACC video generation. This model can be run alone using Python, and the other components like the text encoder and VAE are the same as those used in Hanyuan video. So, they implemented it in Python using similar code for inference as Hanyuan video. But when you see the chart here, this is way faster compared to the inference time for generating with Hanyuan video. If you compare it at 720p resolution, it's really 8 times faster because it spends less time on the sampling steps. So you get much faster video generation by using this technique. They're basically using synthetic datasets and the distillation method. Many people might have heard this term before. It's been applied in large language models and deep learning systems previously launched. The idea is to improve accuracy and cut out non-useful data during processing and inference times. So think of it like having a teacher teaching a student faster using the distillation method. It allows the AI model, in this case, the ACC video model, to generate videos faster within the diffusion model. So we're going to try that out in Comfy UI. There's a Comfy UI repackaged file where you have the GGUF quantizations. I know a lot of you guys are low VRAM users. You like to use GGUF quantization files, and there you have that. I recommend using the Q8 version. It's the closest quality you can get compared to the original repositories. You also have the FP8 safe tensor files for the AK Video 5 step models, which are about 13 gigabytes. These offer similar quality to the quantized Q8 GGUF models. And if you want to try it out without spending too much storage space, you can try the Han Yuan LoRa models right here. As you can see, there's a 5-step LoRa rank 16 in FP8 floating point format, and it's just 174 megabytes in size. These are using ACK Video as the Han Yuan Video LoRa models, and you're ready to go with that. So, I'm going to try this out, along with the GGUF quantization model, and see how it works. Here, I have a simple text-to-video workflow running for Han Yuan video. The difference is that when you're using the Han Yuan video model, for example here I have the text-to-video 720p Han Yuan video setup, you're going to connect the ACC video 5-step LoRa in the load LoRa model section. You should also use double blocks because we're going to use multiple LoRa's here. So we're going to replace the load LoRa model using the Han Yuan video LoRa loader, which will allow us to use multiple LoRa's in the same workflow. By choosing double blocks, we can add another Hanyuan video LoRa. 
This time, I'm using the reward model MPS that I talked about in previous videos, the Hanyuan Video Reward MPS LoRa model, which improves video generation performance in terms of quality and stability, ensuring overall character consistency in the video generation results. The main focus here is the Aki Video 5 step LoRa model. That's one way of using Aki Video. The other way, which I mentioned earlier, is using the GGUF quantization model. We can load that into our workflow, and I'll try that in another generation run. In that case, we'll only use the GGUF quantizations. First, we'll try it out with the LoRa loader, based on the Hanyuan Video T2 V720P resolution model size. We'll connect this in a typical text-to-video workflow for Hanyuan Video, which is the native way to connect. I recommend using the native way to use any diffusion model because it tends to perform more stably in certain situations. Let's try this out and see how fast it's going to be. This time, we'll use 10 steps, which is double the 5 steps. We'll set it to 97 frames to try out a 4 second video. And here's the generated video as you can see right here. The quality is what you'd expect from Hanyuan Video. But when using this LoRa, it accelerates the generation time. Here, I use just 1 minute and 56 seconds for the inference time, generating 97 frames with this basic text-to-video setup. So far, everything feels like a bit of a lucky draw because it's text-to-video, and we randomize the seed numbers. Sometimes you'll get unexpected results, and sometimes you'll get something like this with different motions. But again, the hero raises their hands, which follows what I put in the text prompt. Of course, you can also use specific lores for characters, since Hanyuan Video has a lot of lora models available for characters. That's a great advantage of using the Hanyuan Video ecosystem. Another way to use Aki Video is to load it directly into the model loader. This time I'll use a GGUF model loader, which is even faster than using the diffusion model. Of course, we'll need to replace those purple link connections and try it out with the quantized ACC Video 5-step model. All you need to do is replace the connections, bypass the diffusion model loader, and you're ready to go. This time, I'll try a different text prompt so we don't get bored with the muscle man on the screen. Let's try this one. A beautiful elf in mysterious forms near a river looking like movie scene animations. Let's load the GGUF model and bypass the LoRa model loader since we already have the ACC video GGUF loaded. Here's a magical scene of an elf controlling river water. This generation took me about two minutes. Of course, the generation time won't always be the same even if I use the same video length because of the distillation process. The model needs to predict what the new text prompt is doing to create related video scenes. This time I used DeepSeek to try out different text prompts and see how they work. All the related video scenes feature a magical, beautiful elf and a mysterious river. We created five text prompts dedicated to this demonstration. Let's try out the rest and most likely it'll take about one or two minutes per generation with these dimensions and frame counts. So I'll check it out and see how it goes. Basically, this is how you connect AccuVideo and it's already set up to save time. Let's check out the results at the end of the video and let me know what you think about this acceleration for Hanyuan video. We also have some animation styles for this elf video clip and I'm going to generate more to see how the results look. I'll post them at the end of this video, so check it out later. There are a few other video clips I just tested and generated using DeepSeek text prompts, and they look pretty good, just like what you'd expect from Hanyuan video. I also tested that the GGUF quantization models can use stage attention and torch control compiled models for Hanyuan video, as well as the patch model patcher order, which speeds up generation times in Hanyuan video while improving quality slightly. As you can see, the whole video is pretty smooth. That's pretty much it. So far, I think it's pretty nice to have a faster way to generate AI videos locally. I'm currently using 10 steps for all these demos right now. If you're a Hanyuan video user, you should try this one out. It's called Ak Video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day. See ya.